In Stacking Up Today, trader Tom White of TD Ameritrade joins me now to talk about Nike. Hello to you. Good to see you. So the earnings report came out Tuesday after the close. Not exactly awful. The company beat on revenue, earnings topped, and the sales forecast looks solid to me. What do you think? Yeah, same thing here. Um, it's been trending lower over the last uh, few months as the competition's heated up in that space. Under Armour, uh, even uh, Adidas uh, overseas is picking up, mainly in China where a lot of their growth has been. Um, the the stock bottomed out about 52, 51 and a half after the uh, after the report in the after hours on Tuesday, uh, and that's been a 52 week low. It's probably going to be a low for the near term. Um, we were in there looking to get long it uh, in the after hours, and we probably will stay uh, in that range, you know, between 52, maybe 57. And uh, they had some currency issues to start, and unless those kind of get uh, get fixed, and uh, the dollar's actually been falling since the Fed meeting last week, so uh, that could help that multinational. So you're buying the stock? Are you buying it outright, or are you doing an option strategy? We were buying the, the stock outright uh, in oh, the after like hours. Nike. Yeah. Exactly, it pays a nice dividend. Um, I think that 52, 51 and a half dollar level is probably a good, pretty good base in there. What do you think about Costco? Costco's coming out with earnings. Mm -hmm. Costco is coming out with earnings. Stock's trading about $150. It's got a great business model in this tough retail environment where you actually pay you know, 50 to $100 a year, and that's where they gain a lot of their revenue uh, as a member. And um, they're only expecting about a two, two and a half percent move in there after earnings, which is kind of relatively small on a dollar per dollar basis because mm -hmm. it's $150 stock. Uh, that stock's been sliding, sliding um, as retail sales have kind of been mixed lately. Um, I would expect that stock to kind of stay in a tight range uh, unless uh, after falling back down to this $150 share level that uh, we get an upside surprise, uh, overseas expansion kind of takes place, uh, we could see that stock pop. But with only an expected two, two and a half percent move, I'd be surprised if it, if we'd had one of those one-off moves. Also on your list, Pepsi, another earnings play here. Mm -hmm. Pepsi, um, come out with earnings. Uh, they're only expecting about a 1.6 percent move into earnings, uh, according to the option market. And for a hundred and seven dollar stock, that once again is uh, a pretty muted move expectations. Uh, it's a blue chip. It pays a great dividend. Its snack food beverage uh, segment is growing exponentially, while its beverage business uh, slows. And you can overlay a, um, a chart of Coke versus Pepsi, which is their main competitor. And Pepsi's been pretty solid, and Coke's been sliding most of the year. Uh, and that's probably due to the snack food business as that, as that continues to grow. Um, one thing you're going to have to look at in Pepsi is uh, starting in January, Philadelphia is going to um, put a tax on soft drinks. That's right. Yeah, and if this picks up steam, the, the actual lobby in there, whether it's Dr. Pepper, Coke, Pepsi, they're all fighting it. Oh, you bet. In California, they had actually proof that that tax will hurt these yep. soft oh, it'll hurt. beverage companies. But I, I think it's something that, you know, it, um, contributes to our health care decline or, you know, everybody's health care decline, so why not tax it? Uh, so we'll see if that takes hold. If they can't beat that uh, in other states, other cities start picking that up, that could really hurt their bottom line and their uh, future growth. As a trader, you have to watch all of this. Definitely. Thank you. Thanks.